Hi guys, it's me, Mr. Bertosh, your incredibly handsome, horrific science teacher. And in this video, we are going to be talking about light. Light is one of the most interesting phenomena in the universe. It's something that we are very familiar with. We, it's all around us. Okay, it's the reason you can see me right now. Uh, but what is it? Why can you see me? Why can you see your computer screen or your device? You know, why can you look across a building and see something on the other side? Uh, how is it the light travels so fast and we really can't even slow it down? You can't grab it and be like, slow down and give it a speeding ticket. Okay, it just you don't have to throw it. it. It just moves at that speed. What is it that causes light to be the way light is? It's different than any other uh, phenomena in the uh, universe. So your goal by the end of this video is to understand what light is how light moves, how it travels, and uh, uh, how we use light to see and how light allows us to see. So let's first start by talking about some of the interesting features of light, uh, namely how fast light travels. You've heard the phrase or the term, the speed of light. Something traveling at the speed of light means that it is going really, really fast. Okay, well, what is the speed of light? It's a speed that is so incredibly fast that it allows light to get from the earth to the sun in about eight minutes and from the earth to the moon in just one second. And the moon is pretty far away. Okay, it, takes, uh, it took the astronauts traveling to the moon about a week to get there, and yet light can make that vast travel that vast distance in uh, about a second. In order to do that, light has to be going really fast. Well, the speed of light, we know through experimentation, is uh, 299,792,458 meters per second, okay? That is incredibly, incredibly fast. And light, travels in waves. So it doesn't just go in a straight line. It goes up and down in a wave. Light is made up of these tiny little particles called photons. So kind of like in the same way that matter is made up of atoms, light is made up of tiny little particles like atoms but they're called photons so they're kind of a photon is kind of like the atom of light i guess if you want to think of it that way it's a little uh little piece of light it's the tiniest piece of light a photon and those photons travel in waves up and down as they go from uh, one place to another depending on the frequency of the light waves now Frequency, and I talk about frequency in another video. I'm not going to spend much time talking about it in this video, but basically, frequency refers to the wavelength. It refers to how far apart two crests of a wave are. Okay, and depending on the frequency of a light wave will determine the color of the light that we see. So uh, longer wavelengths are gonna be red-ish in color and orange-ish in color. Shorter wavelengths are blue and purple in color. And everything in between is kind of yellow and green. Okay, so as the wavelengths or the frequency gets uh, bigger, it becomes more red. As it gets shorter and the wave crests get closer together, then the light changes color and becomes more uh, blue and purple. But kind of cool fact that light, what we see with our eyes, is not the only part of the electromagnetic 
spectrum, and we call it, uh, that's just a, electromagnetic spectrum is just a fancy word uh, or words term. That means uh, what light is, photons. Okay. If the frequency of the electromagnetic spectrum or these photons, the waves, gets even longer than red light, it gets to the point where we can't see it anymore. Our eyes don't perceive a color beyond red. And they become microwaves and eventually radio waves. So microwaves are the, you know, the thing you cook with in your kitchen. Those are actually, that's just light. It's photons with a really long wave. Okay, and then radio waves that we use to send radio broadcasts through the air that you pick up with an antenna, those are uh, also the same thing as light. They're just photons that our eyes cannot see that because the waves have gotten too long. If you go the other way, so you make them shorter. Remember, the shorter I get, I go from red to orange, to yellow to green to blue to purple, and then eventually they get so short the waves, the wavelength, the distance between the two crests, that I can't see them anymore. My eyes can't see anything beyond purple. Okay, I don't I haven't evolved that ability, and neither of you, okay, to see anything beyond purple. So that eventually they become ultraviolet. Ultraviolet are uh, what you get sunburned by. Uh, when anything that is shorter than purple, the color that's less than purple, that your eyes can't perceive, it burns you. You get even shorter, it becomes x-ray. So we can use it to look through, it goes through things like your body and we can see inside uh, your body and see bones and things. So this is kind of uh, interesting to understand that the waves, uh, or rather the photons that make light also are the exact same thing in radio and microwaves and ultraviolet and x-ray. They're all the same uh, phenomena. So, but how do you see? Why can you see? How does light interact with objects to allow you to see? And thankfully it does, because it would be kind of bad if you couldn't see things, right? You'd be, uh, it'd be harder for mankind or animals to function in a universe that was completely dark. Well, light happens to have this property, these photons, whenever they interact with objects that allow us to perceive the object, the last thing they touched. Because whenever a photon of light interacts with an object, it changes it in certain ways. In particular, it changes its wavelength, okay? So before we talk about that, you need to understand that when light hits an object, it's either going to be absorbed by it, it's gonna be reflected, it's going to be transmitted or it's going to scatter. Absorption means that the light is absorbed into it and it's gone. If light is absorbed into an object, it's just gone. It's absorbed and it doesn't, it, it's done. Its journey is done. If it's reflected, it bounces off the object, kind of like a mirror. Okay. If it's transmitted, it goes through the object like glass, light going through glass. It's transmitted through the glass. And if it's scattered, then it's scattered out in all random directions and it becomes foggy. Uh, an example of that might be uh, the lens of a light fixture where you can't see the light bulb inside because uh, the light's being scattered, but you can still, the light still comes through, but you can't see a clear picture uh, of the light bulb. Okay, so absorption, reflection, transmission, and scattering. Well. Imagine a red light. Actually, I need to step back. Let's talk for a second about white light. White light, like the light that comes from the sun, actually isn't pure white light. It's actually all the colors of light mixed together equally. Okay, So the sunlight, which looks white or yellowish, actually has red light in it, and it has green light, and it has blue light, and yellow, and orange, and purple, all mixed together. And you can see that, you can prove that by taking a prism and passing the light through the prism and seeing it divided out into a rainbow. Because okay, a prism divides the light into its individual colors. Well, when light hits an object, let's say light hits an apple. Okay, what color, let's say it's a red apple, and that's kind of a hint. What color is a red apple? Gosh, I don't know. Maybe it's red. Okay. 
So the light hits the red apple. Well, the apple absorbs because that's just the way that that particular uh, pigments in that, that apple work. It absorbs all of the colors from the sunlight except for red. And red bounces off. Red is reflected. It doesn't absorb the red as well as it absorbs the other colors. So the red bounces off the apple towards your eye. Well, what you see then is the red light because it's bounced off of the apple and not absorbed. All the other colors were absorbed by it except for the red light. Okay. So the apple looks red to you, but it's actually every color but red if you think about it because it's absorbed all the other colors and just reflected red back towards your eyes. Um, now, let's talk about two more things real quick. Uh, first of all, let's talk about uh, three sciency, fancy sciency words, which are opaque, transparent, and translucent. Opaque is a word we use for uh, substances that absorb light, or rather I should say that light can't go through, because sometimes it's absorbed and sometimes it's reflected off of them. Anything that is opaque, uh, light cannot go through it, like a brick wall okay, or a mirror. A brick wall, the light's absorbed by it. A mirror, the light reflects or bounces off of it. Transparent, you know what that word means probably. Something that is transparent is clear to light. Light can go through it like a window. And translucent refers to something like the lens of a light that we talked about that scatters light. The light goes through it. You can see it shining through it, but you can't see the picture. The picture's been distorted by something that's translucent. It's foggy. It looks foggy. Okay, you need to remember those words, opaque, transparent, and translucent. Opaque means light can't go through. Transparent means it does go through. Translucent means it goes through, but it is all scattered and distorted. And lastly, I want to talk for a minute about why is the sky blue. So one thing that light does is, by some objects, is that it is scattered, like, for example, through translucent substances. Well, there are tiny little particles of dust in the air that happen to be really good at scattering blue light. And they don't scatter red light very well, or yellow light, or orange light very well, or green light. All of those light colors go through the atmosphere. So the sun is shining down on the earth, and that light comes through the atmosphere. And then remember, it's got all of the colors in it, in that yellow light, all mixed up together. Well, when the blue light hits the atmosphere, it hits those dust particles, and the dust particles scatter the blue light uh, off in a random direction. And then that blue light bounces and hit another dust particle and bounces in another direction and another direction over and over again, uh, making the sky look like it glows blue because all of the other colors shine directly through and hit the ground, but blue gets bounced off and scattered over and over and over again by every dust particle in the atmosphere, making it look like it glows blue. All right, dear half-sized humans, so that is light, these tiny little uh, photons that interact with the universe in a way that allow us to perceive the universe based upon what happens whenever they come into contact with other substances. Remember, light travels in waves, okay? It is made up of photons, uh, the colors that we perceive are based on the wavelength or the frequency of the light. And uh, if, the color, if the wavelengths get longer, it becomes more red. If they get shorter, it becomes more blue in color. Uh, light interacts with objects in different ways. It can uh, be absorbed. It can be reflected. It can uh, be transmitted through an object. Something that uh, either absorbs or reflects objects is called opaque. Opaque means light cannot travel through them. Something that uh, light does travel through and is not altered by is transparent. And something that light travels through but is scattered by, is, and so it becomes foggy, is called translucent. And that is light.
Hi guys, thanks for watching my video. These rambling science videos where I go unscripted and just kind of barf up all the science knowledge out of my head are part of a series that go along with an online class that I teach, which you can sign up for if you go to handsomescienceteacher.com. I also have a whole bunch of free resources for homeschoolers. I have uh, hundreds of articles on every topic that uh, covers your entire science curriculum from fifth through eighth grade. I have online games and quizzes, all curated and written by uh, this handsome guy, uh, a science teacher with, well, three, three degrees, but two of them are in science. So it's uh, targeted right to and directly to your uh, your science students. So sign up, subscribe to the channel, and I release lots of videos. Also, in addition to these ones, lots of little uh, short videos that are like two minutes long that cover science topics. Those ones you don't get to see my handsome face, but they're still good videos and they're much more targeted. And those ones are scripted, so you don't have to hear me like you are right now going blah, blah, blah. The end. Uh, subscribe. Thank you. Goodbye.